my book hose. It is time for me to do a book review, but not just any book review, a fashion school book review. Hello and welcome to Book Hoarding by Bianca. Yes, this is the same setting and outfit that I wore in my last video. It's cool. Sometimes you batch content. Today I am doing a lightning review of one of the textbooks that I have used repeatedly since starting fashion school and that I've also seen some other people using on YouTube um, from their fancy schools. I am just in a community college program, um, but this seems to be the book on introducing people to pattern making. And I thought I'd go over some of the things I've learned, how I feel about it, and maybe some things that you should look out for if you do get it. Pattern making for fashion design. I have the fifth edition. It is by Helen Joseph Armstrong, and there are newer editions of this. But I will tell you that in most of my classes, the teachers have said that any of the older editions are fine. Maybe not like the first or second, but like the third, fourth, and fifth. Um, you can get these pretty readily and the older editions, I think they're on 6th edition, but the older editions are pretty reasonable. Um, you can check the, for them on eBay um, throughout the year. They're not going to be like textbook prices, like hundreds of dollars. You can get them pretty cheaply. Like honestly, I feel like I paid more for my Patterns of Fashion book than I did for pattern making for fashion design. This is the book that was assigned to me in my first ever fashion class, Flat Patterning 101. It is also the thing that I've used in other classes for other things and also for myself. It is thick. It is a thick baby. This is going to be very, very technical and it's going to have way less about actually sewing things, if that makes sense. If you are just focused on trying to understand patterning better and not the construction side, this is the book for you. There will occasionally be things that are like, here's the stitching guide for a thing and give you some more details on like plackets and pants and stuff, but they are not going to be as in depth as an actual, like anything else is actually focused on construction. It's very, very bare bones and it's very light if it's even in the thing. It's not often that there are construction notes in here. I didn't use this as like a, we start with chapter one and we go all the way through kind of a thing. We kind of jumped around a little bit um, from the drafting part to the other parts. I would say this is more of a reference thing after you get the basics of drafting and dart manipulation. If you are not taking a class and you want to get an idea of where to start in this, I'd say you definitely probably want to start at the beginning with just how do you measure people? How do you make accommodations for different shapes and sizes? Getting really comfortable measuring out mannequins and then also getting comfortable measuring people like it could be you it could be your partner or your friends and then the next step i'd say is definitely drafting you want to get into drafting and start figuring out how to make basic good blocks because if you don't have a good block the rest of your work is just not going to make sense in my edition i do not have the photocopyable basic blocks in here so a block would be for the bodice the sleeve the pant the skirt i don't have them in here but you can google um half scale bodice block half scale or quarter scale and you can print those out and then just make copies of them um you can just you know trace them so i'd say make a copy of it trace that into like a manila folder cut that out and have that be your basic quarter or half scale bodice block or pant block or whatever and use those. Obviously though, please, 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 please try to get them from the same source so they actually all make sense and work together. Because if you have a bodice block and you're trying to make a torso block, but you get a pants from something that you've never used before or um, a skirt from something you've never used before, they're not gonna fit together. If you want to draft your own um, blocks, I will say too, please check out The Closet Historian because she's actually done multiple videos on how to do this. Um, and if you are confused by all the math, um, please just look for someone who's already kind of walked you through that because it's not a ton of help here. You can get a lot of help within this. It's very bare bones and it can be very confusing at times around this specific um, section. After you're done with the blocks, I would say you really want to move on to dart manipulation, which is still at the very beginning. And then after you kind of get an idea of dart manipulation, the world is your oyster. I swear to you. After you get those two things down, you get comfortable with what a bodice block is or any block is and then manipulating the darts I think you're great and you'll be fine. I have some videos about the basics of pattern making that I've already done if you want to check those out um, but the biggest thing is that this is not going to be a big hand holding thing in terms of um, the step by steps are kind of going to assume that you do know a little bit already about construction if I'm being honest even though it's a bare 
bare bones on construction. It's gonna have a lot of sketches for you on what the little fashion garment is gonna look like at the end and then give you some of the instructions for how to make these. Um, there are gonna be times where there's just uh, a bunch of illustrations, but they don't give you the step-by-step -step to make each and every one um, because it's like a textbook, right? So it's like, well, they're gonna test you on the ones that aren't listed. But I will say it's very, very complete in terms of giving you a ton of information on how to make almost anything. There's a whole chapter on contouring, which is taking stuff kind of in, and then fullness, which is adding stuff to something. So like, this thing has a lot of resources for you if you are like, how do I do this? How do I make a collar? It has a very, very tiny kid section and a very small men section, but it does have athletics, um, coats, um, it is skewed toward women's wear or what we traditionally call women's wear. If you are trying to do stuff that's not necessarily just women's wear, um, this might not be the best thing for you because it's really sparse on doing other things. But I do think it's a really great starting thing for folks who are making their own garments and are looking to um, do the traditionally women's silhouette. Overall, this book is really, really informative and more of a reference thing for me. I will say like it might be rough at the beginning if you are not used to using bodice blocks at all or any blocks and not used to um, playing with them, but there are tons of YouTube videos out there. I would highly recommend The Closet Historian. She does a ton of this work around patterning, so I'd say spend a little time watching her stuff and then read this. Um, if you want and you will probably be able to like build the dream thing that you're looking for There will probably be a lot of trial and error because you're gonna get used to doing things Like it's going to tell you the different seam allowances that are used for industrial stuff versus for home sewers Which are slightly different But as long as you get a grasp of like, okay, so like a lot of home sewers use one inch seam allowance for variation um, and like, you know, body fluctuation, but for this you're using one half inch seam allowance and then a quarter inch for the collars and other fiddly bits. So there's just going to be a couple of things there that you'll have to remember and like notching things, making like the bodices mirror each other and things like that. But I will say overall this is a solid introduction if you are willing to put a little bit more time into self teaching and like find those resources out there on like pattern making 101. Um, if you're not ready to do that um, and you aren't taking a class then this might not be the best starting point for you but if you've already done a bunch of sewing and construction I do think that you are more than capable of getting into this. Um, even if you've just been using patterns, commercial patterns, I think that there's it, this is a pretty good basis if you know enough about that and you've had to modify a commercial pattern before for something I think this is a prime book for you.